Orange Line riders have a new worry even before the shutdown begins. Will they be able to afford Uber or Lyft rides if they need them? Tonight at 9 o'clock, the whole line shuts down for the next 30 days. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes in for Paula. And I'm Chris Tanaka. Yeah, the MBTA providing free shuttle buses to help riders get around. But commuters still uh, may have extra long rides. As WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us, it's putting people in a pinch and many are dreading the expensive alternative. The train is broken, it's no good. Sylvia Ribeiro takes the orange line from Lynn Daly to get to work as a custodian in Boston. The entire orange line will close for a month, starting at 9 p.m. on Friday, August 19th. When the orange line trains come to a halt Friday night, Ribeiro is left to wonder how she'll navigate the signs, shuttle buses, and the added traffic those will cause for an entire month. Are you able to take an Uber, to take a taxi? Uh, no, it's just pencil. I pay $136 for a month for the pass. In pay taxi is more money. More money for an Uber, Lyft, or taxi that many commuters can't afford to spend. That's a lot. It's like per day, it's like $15 to $20 or more. Well, it might be a little anxious, stressful. This college student relies on the orange line to get from Jamaica Plain to her job in Boston's downtown crossing. She's worried she'll be forced to open up her ride sharing app just to make it to work on time. I might go bankrupt. Like, it's just the Ubers and Lyfts are really expensive, so I have to figure out that. City and transit officials are warning passengers to brace for a hectic, chaotic month ahead, adding that shuttle buses will no doubt put a strain on Boston traffic. It's harder every single day, you know, like because it's uh, no options for, for, for public transport. Not a convenient one anyway. T-riders fear they'll soon be paying with their time and money. Day per day, it's, uh, it's going to be harder and harder for the whole month. From Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.